It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. You can see a poured lager here that's been brewed in the UK by AB InBev, but it's full of kind of Italian branding and it's got an Italian name and you're made to think about the Mediterranean. This is their Via Roma by AB InBev produced in the UK. And the reason why I'm starting this video introducing this beer is because I've just finished reviewing it. Please check out the video. Um, I talk about the marketing, the strategy behind this beer. Now, AB InBev, probably the world's largest brewer by volume. But I say probably, there might be some big Chinese brewery somewhere or, you know, Mongolia's a big place, isn't it? It might be one brewery in Mongolia feeding loads of Mongolians beer. <laughs> Who knows? Um, but my, my point here is, is that this beer is an AB InBev beer. Now, the thing, what I find that's quite clever about AB InBev is that, is that they've got a few strategies. They've got a few irons in the fire here with the beer. Of course, they've got Budweiser, they've got Stella Artois to feed the masses. They've gone down the European route with producing a Mediterranean lager here. So they're trying to kind of cover off every single base of, of, of craft lager, if you like. And this is their craft offering. So AB InBev bought Camden Town, I reckon it was about 2013, 2014, back then, Big brewery acquisitions were, or well, big breweries were coming in and acquiring smaller craft brewers. Camden being one of the first. And there was a fear within the industry that Camden's, their Hellas Lager, which was very, very popular back then, it still is now, was going to go downhill. Uh, that hasn't happened. They kept this kind of experiment, if you like, going, their craft experiment going. And this is their latest offering, Camden Tropic Hazy Lager, 6% ABV. So you can immediately see what's going on here. You've got Stella Artois, Budweiser, some Italian, UK brew, foreign looking lager for, 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 well, there's going to be a market for that, isn't there? Lots of people like to travel around the Med. Who doesn't like to do that? And then you've got, you've got their lager for the craft, the craft crowd. Let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. I picked this one up in Sainsbury's. It cost me about three pounds. 6% ABV. I don't want to spoil the Via Roma video for you guys too much, but you, you can tell I was, you know, I was critical of the fact that it was brewed in the UK and it's kind of Italian themed. It's happening a lot. Madri, San Miguel, I think even Tisky now is brewed in the UK. Look at the difference. Look at this. Same company. Same company. Look at the difference, eh? They're trying to cover off every single aspect of the market that they can. And being one of the biggest brewers in the world, you're going to do that, aren't you? Three finger white head. Good levels of slow moving carbonation. Hazy looking lager. This is going to please the craft beer crowd. Let's get the aroma. It smells delightful. No sediments in the bottom of the glass, but this does smell delightful. I mean, if you're a craft beer lover, this has got all of your wonderful hops coming through, your passion fruit, your mango, your grapefruit, your orange peel, your fleshy blood orange. Camden are a really, really solid, respectable brewery. They really are. Oh, that smells wonderful. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, oh. And it 
tastes wonderful too. There was a rumour going around when Stella Artois unfiltered come out that it was all brewed at Camden Town Brewery and there's a reason for that. It's a reason why Stella unfiltered was so well perceived and so well taken to in the UK because it was brewed really well. It was it, it's such a such a fantastic fantastic beer that was um, that was brewed at Camden. Um, whether it's still brewed at Camden now I don't know um, but this is fantastic. This this beer is fantastic. Camden Town Brewery, they know what they're doing. And I can't fault AB InBev for leaving Camden Town to their own devices. They're letting, they're, they're cornering every single aspect of the market here. Your European lager drinker, your mass market lager drinker, your, your, your craft beer drinker. And you own, you're only going to get the craft beer drinker interested, slightly interested in drinking something like this if you produce good beer. Now, some of the other big international companies have dropped the ball. Let's look at Heineken and, and Beavertown Brewery. Beavertown had such a fantastic reputation, such a fantastic reputation, and Heineken took them down the toilet. They really did. In terms of, in terms of the craft beer drinker, they, took, they tried to take Beavertown more mainstream. And it was never really going to work, was it? Because your mainstream drinker doesn't really want to drink something with skulls and bones on it. That's not for them. They want to be thinking about the Mediterranean. They want to be thinking about like, like going on holiday and, you know, packing your shorts and that sort of thing. And that's what I think AB InBev, they've been very, very clever. Very, very clever. They've gone, right, we bought a craft beer brewery. Let's carry on producing great craft beer at that, at that brewery and corner that part of the market. That's what they've done here. This is godly. This is this is fantastic kind of god levels of, of, of craft beer production. It really is. Lovely tickle of carbonation. Beer gets pushed around the inside of the mouth. It's light, it's crisp, it's been brewed with pills and a malt. You've got all the wonderful hops giving you passion fruit, mango and grapefruit and orange peel and fleshy blood orange. It, 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 it's great stuff, it really is. Mm. Great lacing on the glass. A million miles better than this Via Roma thing. Yet, and this is my point, it's all coming from the same institution, AB InBev. It's bonkers, isn't it? Absolutely bonkers, I find. So, hops in this beer. Uh, the malt is Pilsner, flaked oats, wheat and carapils. The yeast is Bavarian lager yeast. These guys know what they're doing. The hops are Pearl, Citra, Sabro, Idaho 7 and Cryo. Idaho 7 Cryo hops. And they just, they just nailed it. They've just nailed it. I mean, I'm in the same clothes in my previous review because, I've, of course, I reviewed it literally 15 minutes ago. But have a look at the... Bearing in mind the two beers come from the same brewery. Have a look at my mood with this, the, the aroma. Have a look at kind of like the way I'm speaking and they say, oh, you know, why are, they, why are they pulling our pants down type of thing. Why are they producing UK brewed beer and arguing the fact that, or, or trying to trick people into thinking that it's Italian lager? I don't think they're trying to trick, trick the craft beer drinker. I don't think they're trying to do that. I think m many people know that Camden Town Brewery are owned by AB and Bev. I just think that they've left AB and Bev 
uh, they've left Camden Brewery to their own devices. They've just let him go, you know, do your own thing. And that's only going to help. That's only going to help AB and Bev and their reputation. This, this beer here, Via Roma, fake Italian lager, is not going to help their reputation. I understand why they do it. I understand why they do it because you've got your Madris out there and you've got your blooming San Miguel's and, 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 and other, other UK brew thinking in Spain, drinking a, a, a Spanish lager. It, it, it's just, it's just kind of, it can help with the reputation though. It really can. Whereas this, I drink this and I think, oh, AB and Bev, you know, they're not so evil, are they? <laughs> they're not so evil when they can produce stuff like this or, or leave Camden Town to their own devices. That is unbelievable beer. Unbelievable beer. I mean, 6% ABV, drinks like a dream. 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. I gave that a 4, by the way. I gave that Roma a 4 out of 10. How can 15 minutes in, 15 minutes later, I'm giving an AB InBev beer a 9 out of 10. It's just so bizarre, isn't it? So bizarre. I hope you liked the video. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.